What are the things that are going to take place when Christ comes? Let me show you 1 Thessalonians 4. Verse 16. The Lord will descend from heaven with a shout. The voice of the archangel. Listen to all these things. The voice of the archangel. The trumpet of God. And we'll be caught up together to meet the Lord in the clouds. So here it is. The Lord coming in the clouds. Angels are being taken up from all parts of the earth. Trumpets. That is the coming of the Lord, which we know as the rapture, when Christ is going to come to take us. Now, keeping that in mind, when we turn back to Matthew 24, and in 1 Thessalonians 4, it doesn't tell us when it will happen. It tells us what will happen. But when you go to Matthew 24, Jesus tells us when it will happen. Now, listen to this. Matthew 24 and verse 29. He's just spoken about the great tribulation in the previous verses. Verse 21, there will be a great tribulation in those days. And then, verse 29, immediately after the tribulation, not before, immediately after the tribulation, the sun will be dark and the moon will not shine. And then, verse 30, the Son of Man will appear in the sky. He'll come in the clouds of the sky. Verse 31, with the angels and a trumpet and the elect will be gathered together from the four winds. Did Jesus know what he was talking about? As I read these words and I compared scripture with scripture, I said, how in the world did Christendom believe something else? An enemy has done this. Second Thessalonians chapter two. I read these verses, verse one to three. Brethren, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, our rapture. Second Thessalonians two, verse two. Don't be shaken or composed or disturbed by a message as if it were from us. Verse 3, this is the verse I want you to see. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no one deceive you. I believe we need to hear that word. Let no one deceive you in any way for that day will not come until there's this falling away, the apostasy, great falling away from the faith and it's happening all around us today. And the Antichrist, the man of sin, is revealed, the son of perdition, destruction, whom opposes and exalts himself, who sits in the temple and claims to be God, verse 4. It's after he's revealed that the Lord will come. I believe we need to be prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ. But we need to be prepared for this time of persecution and tribulation the church is going to face before that. And this is the time when we need to strengthen ourselves. I remember we were taught in the military that the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. And the more we prepare ourselves 